For this recipe, you will need one butternut squash, some veggie stock, I have one yellow onion, three carrots, some roasted and salted pepitas or pumpkin seeds, I have four garlic cloves, three celery stalks, some fresh parsley and fresh sage, and we'll also use some pure maple syrup. And that's everything. First thing we want to do is cut off each end of the butternut squash, cut it in half, and then very carefully, we want to cut around the outside and just take the outer layer off. Just take your time, don't cut yourself. You can use a peeler if you want. I find this is a lot easier. Once you have the outside trimmed off, you can cut each half in half again. And then we want to scoop out the insides. Once the insides are scooped out, we can cut the squash into planks and then give them a big dice. They don't have to be perfect, just dice up all the pieces. Throw them into a roasting pan or a roasting dish like this. Drizzle with extra virgin olive oil. Season with salt and pepper. Give the squash a quick toss and then in a preheated 425 degree oven, we want to roast this for 25 to 30 minutes. While the butternut squash is roasting, we can prepare the other ingredients for the soup. I want to dice up some celery and some carrots. Dice up one yellow onion. I'm mincing up four garlic cloves. You can pull back on the garlic and just use two cloves if you'd like. I have four sage leaves. I'm going to roll them up into a little cigar and just give them a thin little chop like this. All that's left is to grab a small handful of parsley, give that a nice fine chop. We need about a tablespoon worth. And now the rest of our soup ingredients are done. While the butternut squash finishes roasting, we can start building the soup in a Dutch oven or soup pot on medium high heat. We want to start sauteing some celery, carrots, and onions in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Saute your veggies for about four or five minutes until they get soft. Our butternut squash is done. We'll put that to the side for right now. When the veggies become soft, we can add in our garlic cloves, as well as our sage leaves. Season our veggies with some salt and pepper. Now I'm going to add in a quart and a half of veggie stock. You could also use chicken stock, or you could use one quart of stock and a half quart of water. I will also add in all of the butternut squash. Drizzle in about a teaspoon and a half. You don't need a lot of the pure maple syrup. Don't use Aunt Jemima's or any other kind of syrup. Just use the regular pure maple syrup. Give that a nice stir. And now all the hard part is done. We just have to put it on the range and let it simmer for 30 minutes. There's a couple ways to blend this soup. You can use a blender, but you have to make sure that it cools down before you use the blender so the top doesn't blow off. I'm gonna use my immersion blender. I'm just going to put it in a bowl so I don't blend it in my Dutch oven. It's already nicked up enough, as you could see before. And then I'm just gonna hit it with the immersion blender for two or three minutes until it gets a nice, smooth and creamy consistency. Give it one more taste for seasonings. It tasted comforting, delicious, savory, a little bit sweet, but I will add just some salt and pepper to make it perfect to balance it out. And now we're ready to serve. 
You can garnish your soup any way that you'd like. You could whisk in a little heavy cream at the end. You can put a dollop of creme fraiche on the top. You can garnish with many different toppings. I'm going to keep it vegan today. I'm just gonna use these roasted and salted pepitas that I've been munching on the whole video. They're so delicious. I'll also sprinkle on some fresh parsley just to give it a little peppery kick. And we'll drizzle a little bit more of the pure maple syrup on top, why not? And this is our roasted butternut squash soup. I hope you guys give this a try. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.